Welcome to Tech Resolution with Tom Mary. In this video, we are going to learn how to drop single or multiple columns or from a table by using Kusto. There are some uh, things that you need to remember if you are dropping a column from your table. Uh, this command does not physically delete the data and does not reduce the cost of storage for data that has already been ingested. Uh, so that's one of the things. So if you are even, let's say you have a created a table with 100 uh, columns and then you drop 50 of them and you're thinking like, oh, my cost will be half. That's not going to be possible. And whatever you have the data ingested there is going to be still sitting there. So you better off maybe create a new table and load the data from your previous table to the new table, which has very few columns. Um, this command is irreversible. All data in the column that is removed will no longer be queryable. So once you drop the columns, you are not going to be able to query those columns. Future commands to add that column back will not be able to restore the data. So that's if you are trying to like, oh, let me add the column back with the same name and it's going to get my data back. That's not possible. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, here I have, uh, yeah, um, I have dropped the table already, so I don't need to drop it. So, and here I'm creating a total sale table with these uh, columns. Um, now let's create this uh, table and ingest some data. So we are writing uh, four rows in this uh, table. And uh, now we query this uh, data. Let's see what records we have here. So we have uh, all this ID for sale person, first name, last name, product name, and all. And now all of a sudden I decided uh, now I need to drop some uh, columns such as region uh, because I'm not using for any type of reports uh, or uh, I do not need that. Uh, so how I can do, do that? I will say dot drop then column that's a keyword and then uh, my table name dot my column name. Uh, so in this case dot drop column total sale dot region. Uh, I can go ahead and execute this statement and it should drop the region uh, column. Uh, I can select the data again let's execute the total sales select statement here and we do not see any region anymore now if i would like to drop multiple column at the same time that's possible with this statement so i will say dot drop table and then a table name in my case is total sale then say columns as a keyword and small parenthesis and put the list of the columns i would like to drop in this case, I would like to drop city, state, and country columns from total sale table. So that's going to be happening once I execute this statement. The statement is successful. Let's go ahead and take a look. And we should not see city, state, or country columns anymore. Remember that they're gone. And but the, as the, whatever the data was stored there is going to be still on the storage and take that space. So we will not get a whole lot of benefit of, uh, uh, from the storage billing point of view. Okay, so this is how you will uh, drop a single or multiple columns uh, from the table by using Kusto query. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.